greenhouse update hey everyone welcome back to my channel my name is rose and in today's video i'm gonna talk about the greenhouse with you again it's been a little while i've been a little behind on the editing of the greenhouse stuff so before you get to see all of this don't look yet <laughs> it's still a secret we're gonna skip back to february when it snowed a lot here to show you whether it was winterproof what's up mickey i look finally he's discovering the snow he's been inside for two days scared of it <laughs> oh and look all the snow is melting on the greenhouse already so it finally gets some light again hey dacht ik zal er een beetje kokend water op doen misschien komt dan het plopje eruit En dan kan hij doorstromen. Klop. Goed hè? Ja, we hebben een heel veel water zeker. Ik ga het niet in het plakkaat op je hart. Instead of the end piece, actually the whole lower part of this thing came off. Wow, look at this. A huge bunch of water came out. And some big pieces of ice. But now at least it's open again. Ho ha! And don't worry, it was very easy to reinstall this after the ice had gone. Whoa! <laughs> That's a good deadlift. Let's go up the grass. First of all, I just wanted to show you how good and watertight the greenhouse is. The snow on the roof, most of it, well, not all of it, has melted. It's a really nice sunny day. Inside, I think it's about 10 degrees right now, when outside it is minus something or maybe freezing. So it's getting really nice and hot in here. And also, there is zero leaking. Even all of these weird bits on this very bubbly wall, they they made so well that there is literally zero leaking. It's fully dry inside. And the only thing we have is there, there is some condense, is that the word? That sometimes drips down from the edges. But there was a ton of snow on the roof and it's all now slowly melting away. It's so nice in here. And look, the garden, still full of snow. So there's a real big difference in temperature. I even just had a nap in, in here on the sofa. Hey, Maxer! Hey! Because I've been quite tired, I had a treatment today that was EMDR. I don't know exactly what those letters mean, actually, <laughs> either in Dutch or in English, but it was to help with my PTSD symptoms. So afterwards, you usually feel quite tired. So I had a nice nap. It was awesome. And I got woken up by Maggie meowing and saying hello, it was so cute. So that has been amazing. I also got my first yoga in, in the greenhouse, which was really fun, even though there wasn't enough space <laughs> to actually practice quite freely, but it was awesome to just be here and breathe and do my stretches. It's snowing again after a really sunny day yesterday. So the glass is now kind of clear, but fresh flakes are slowly coming down I don't know if you can see there's only a few but it looks very very cool there's still big bits of snow everywhere like up there and there and on the table this is the most snow I've seen since I came back from Austria and I love it and then we're skipping forward to March 24th when it was finally starting to get a little bit warmer and we got our first house plant to move into the greenhouse. We have a new greenhouse project, which is repotting this huge alocasia. This is my alocasia Sabrina variegata that we have inside, but it's super wobbly. And if you already noticed in the screen, oh shoot. This is my new Sabrina 
which is pretty big. This one we're gonna try and grow in the greenhouse right here. So this is our first official house plant that's gonna move in here. And you may notice that it has some amazing variegation, which is a separate plant over here. I'll twist it towards you so you can see. <laughs> so it's got two leaves right now. This was a pretty sad plant. So that one we're gonna take out, pot up with my other variegated Sabrina and move it back inside. Because obviously we're not gonna test out whether a plant can survive here with a beautiful variegated plant. We'll test it with the beautiful regular plant. So I expect this to be a little bit clumsy because these plants are so big and there are to be some baby plants on here that will have to repot some tiny alocasias that are actually finally looking happy again. They were not so happy before and they might have some, th not thrips, um, spider mites. And since this one just came from a greenhouse where it was for a long time, it's very dusty, I'm gonna clean them and spray them with some kind of treatment as well. Probably my liquid gold leaf control spray. So let's set this up first so that we don't make a huge mess. Many people asked on my last video, this is a repotting mat by Hardena. I don't really know where to start, but I guess we can start unpotting them and see what happens. This one just has an old yellow leaf that's normal. Let's get this one out first. Definitely some root rot, which we don't want to put back in the pot. So the roots do look pretty good even though there are some dead ones in there, which I was a little bit worried about since it was so floppy. And I found some little corms or little bulbs. And the baby ones look good too. So I might put those back into the pot again. I kind of want to reuse this soil because it does look good still. So. I guess we're just gonna do it. We're gonna reuse the soil. But now, we have to get this plant out first. And then probably reuse this soil for this one. From here, I basically started to talk to my boyfriend in Dutch and not to you guys. So I'm voicing this one over. Is that a verb? Voiceover, creating a voiceover. It's gonna be Sabrina Paradise in here. Here we're trying to separate the two different Sabrinas. They were very close together, so it was a little bit difficult, but here we go. Then I repotted the big Zabrina with my boyfriend's help in back into the soil that it came in, just for practicality. That seemed to be quite stable, so that's really good. And then the other two, I tried to figure out how they fit best together so that they would both shine and also have space to grow. Here I did remember to show you the plant <laughs> in a very random attempt, but look how awesome that is and the roots. And then it was time to pot them up together. I asked my boyfriend again to help because it was so wobbly and we put some big stakes in there to help the, especially the large plant to be stable. Potting the babies inside as well and spraying them with that pest treatment before I potted them up. Because I've had quite a lot of issues with the baby plants, the baby alocasias, so making sure that they don't have any spider mites especially. Then I sprayed all of the leaves with that same treatment as you can see here, which was a lot of work, <laughs> lots of plants. I've sprayed all the leaves with liquid gold leaf control, which I'm testing out, which is not a super, super effective killing machine type of stuff, but it is safe for plants and animals and our skin. So that's really nice to know that this is not gonna harm my pets or me. I'm gonna let it drip out and maybe take a cloth and remove some of the dust from the leaves while we're here. And then we're gonna move this one back inside and this one gets to stay here. Here they are. This is the regular one in its separate pot for outside. 
this leaf. I still cannot believe how big it is. And then this is the full pot for inside with the most beautiful leaf right here. But I'm also re-appreciating my old one. Oh, come back. Which has the yellow variegation, but it's not as bright as it used to be when I got it. But now we're looking at it like this next to the new leaf. This is a new leaf. It actually looks really cool. I'm very happy I potted these together. Here we have the little Cupria baby. There's some corms here from the Zebrinas that hopefully will grow. Here's a black velvet and a silver dragon as well. And we put some stakes in to make sure that this wobbly one is supported enough to start to grow roots again, because that has been very wobbly for a while. And it should be a little bit better now. So, yay! Project one. Now we have to find a good spot for the big Sabrina. What do you think? Is the Sabrina going to be happy in the greenhouse? Let us know in the comments below. I have a little sneak update for you from May. <laughs> so like two months ahead. It's still very much alive. Still also might be slightly burnt because it's very sunny now. We're going to work on a sunscreen, but that's coming in the next video. Meow. Mickey says, hey. Grandma's blanket, he likes it. Extra cat footage at the end of the video. We thought it would be fun to show you an update on the indoor plant since I haven't show you that, showed you that in a while. Unfortunately, this large yellow part has been browning a little bit, which is to be expected if you have a fully variegated part of a leaf, whether it's yellow or pink or white variegation, it can go brown. So far, not a lot of growth on the new one, but I'm hoping that that is focusing on growing roots because it didn't have that many. And what I discovered later, as you can maybe see here, is that one side of the stem looks very different ooh, focusing on the of the other. So you can see this is the variegated stem and this is the regular stem. And I had no idea that it would be so cool and clear. So obviously this is not a stem, but a petiole, but still. Hopefully the next one will get a nice split of variegation as well, but maybe not as much as this one. The other leaf has also started to brown. That might be more due to light because I have it here right next to my south facing window. I do know that zebrinas and alocasias in general need a lot of light, so that's why it's here. The original variegated zebrina that I had is doing great. It did lose a few leaves in winter, but look, here is a new one. It's the first one we are getting since basically this year. So that's very exciting. And then here we've got the Cupria, which was not doing great. So I potted it up in a separate pot to hopefully keep it a little bit more stable. These bags are all for pest treatment and I'm not using them as you should be. It should be standing up like this and not touch the soil. If you're interested in learning more about these, I always get questions then check out entocare.nl, which is where I get them from. But also I have made some videos about how I use these and why they're good. Check that out here. Okay, I'm popping them back in. And then on this side, the two babies were also struggling a little bit. So, oh, there's lots of bugs on there. I think they're earth good bugs. Yeah, that looks like a springtail to me. Okay, sorry, I was freaking out for a second. These two were struggling a lot. And even though they were making new leaves, those were not very happy. So I put this bag over it to keep a little bit more humidity in there for them. But it seems like it hasn't helped yet because that new leaf looks like it's rotted. And so does that one. So I always recommend people to get big plants if you can of these. They are much more stable, much less finicky. And I haven't spotted any of the corms starting to grow yet. So we'll have to be a little bit more patient for that. That's it for the update. What do you think? The big setup change and the makeover that we did and all the plants that we brought outside, you'll get to see in the next part. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video about our beautiful greenhouse. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, maybe joining my Patreon or my YouTube membership. And I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks guys. Hey, hey, Micker. <laughs> what is that? But fresh.
what do you call them? Flesh, fresh flakes. <laughs>